In collaboration with the Ministry of Defense, the Rwanda's Development Board uh, have started a tourism venture based on the country's history of liberation struggle. Guides trained to do so will now take tourists to historical locations and explain to them what happened at such spots during the struggle. I think we're expecting to grow the tourism sector and increase the products and increase the number of days that tourists are spending in Rwanda. We have been uh, concentrating mainly on the gorillas and uh, we have also developed a few cultural products, but the museums are also uh, a product that can help us increase our, our, our incomes. And the whole purpose is to try and ensure that the standards and quality of services that we are offering in Rwanda, of course, is an improved product. The move has been held because it will help preserve accurate information of what happened during the, the, the liberation struggle. The liberation struggle included a lot of history that younger generations did not experience, that they need to know about and so do foreigners, that's one. Second, those who experience that history are getting old and latter generations will not know about it unless young people are trained about that history and understand that it will always be part of them. And that time is the time Rwanda was reborn as a country. Locations such as Kajitumba, where the struggle was launched at Mulindi, Rugano and Kigali, Jali, Rebero, and the campaign against genocide museum will be visited.